All right, I'm just beginning to work with Lightroom 4. I just installed it and I made a few tweaks. So I wanted to show you some beginning things you can do with Lightroom 4. Um, first of all, I had to import my photos. I did have Lightroom 3 and I could have updated the Lightroom 3 catalog to Lightroom 4. But I chose not to do that because I still do have Lightroom 3 on this computer. So instead, I created a brand new catalog um, that was made for Lightroom 4 gave it its own unique name and imported all of my files so I'm starting fresh with a new Lightroom 4 catalog and I now have all of my files in there um, so now I'm ready to go with that aspect uh, the other thing with the catalogs is if I ever lose my catalog or if there's ever some sort of a corruption or error in my catalog I don't want to lose all of my keywords and all of my structure uh, so I like to go under edit and catalog settings and I turn on or add a check mark to this little box that says automatically write changes to the XMP file so that all the data like keywords that I put into Lightroom stays with every file so if I do lose my catalog I won't lose all of my keywords uh, that happened to me once before and I find this to be a time-saving step so you just check that little box click OK and you're ready to move on to the next step. The other thing I like to do is to customize the top, uh, have the look of Lightroom be a little more suited to my business. So I added my logo up at the top here and I changed the colors and the size of the font up of the different tabs in Lightroom. To do this is very simple. Uh, the first step would be to prepare a logo to go here. Uh, you need to uh, make a logo that has a, a transparent background, one that will look good on black. Um, and then you need to resize it so that it's 57 pixels high or no larger than 57. And then the width can vary. Uh, I made this one about 350 pixels wide. And then to add it to Lightroom, all you do is go to Edit, Identity Plate, and then uh, right here you click locate file you choose the file that is the right size and then you click open and when you've done that it's going to put the file here and when you say OK it will make sure that it's updated up here now I also wanted the tabs up at the top to be larger and to have a specific font and to have some colors that were similar to my logo colors so to do this, first you click this down arrow and you have a whole bunch of font choices uh, and pick one that you like. And then uh, I changed the font size and made it a little larger, a little easier to read. And then I picked a color uh, for the highlighted uh, tab that we're on. So that's this color, you just click on it and choose a color. And uh, you could also choose a different color for the uh, tabs that are not being used. I chose to leave them gray at this point. And that's really it. Uh, you say OK. And the top bar of Lightroom 4 is all customized and ready to go. So that's uh, some of the simple customization that I do to get started. And in future videos, we'll look more at working with the details of Lightroom 4. Thank you. This is Gary DeTonicourt from Rhode Island Photography Workshops.